Well, we're off on another adventure. We are taking ATVs up to the high country and we're going to take on some new trails that we've never done. That's what we're going to try to do is hit all the trails in Colorado. There's a lot of good ones. And we're here in this 2018 GMC Canyon Denali. Denali is a sexy beast. I love the grill on these things. I love the look. And this thing even happens to have that light bar in the back. And we've got a four-wheeler right up next to it, a full-size four-wheeler, because that's usually I use a mid-size ATV with a mid-size truck. And actually, I was able to get this big one in there, that's 420 Rancher from Honda. But we're getting up to the trail by Empire. There's some really good ones there. Let's see if we can't get stuck in the mud and we're snuck in a snowbank. But this has, I think it's a 3.6 V6, is that what it is, Symphony? It said I was running on V4 going downhill, that's kind of cool. Shuts off it two says, zones. yes, it says 3.6. 3.6, and this is an 8-speed automatic. This is my granddaughter, Symphony. She's going to college. I know you all think Kelsey's my granddaughter, but she's not. She's a journalist. So, Symphony, how much horsepower do we have? 388 horsepower and 275 pound feet of torque. Awesome. Somewhere it tells you the fuel mileage. I think it's like 24 on the highway or something. Let's find that. A lot on here. I just like you to know. Like there's so much. Yeah, the Moroni. You got to you think about reading the owner's manual. The Moroni is a small thing compared to the encyclopedia. Okay, what was the question? Owner's manual. What did you want? Uh, miles per gallon. I should say EPA. It'll have a highway. It'll have a combined and a city number. Maybe it's down here. It says okay. 19. Where it says 19. Right. That's probably combined. And what's it have for highway? It says, five, oh, yeah, that's combined city highway. City 17, highway 24, 5.3 gallons per 100 miles. Yeah, yeah. And that's, I'm hoping these midsize get a little better improvement because, you know, that's right on the, the better end of what the half ton full sizes get. But, of course, this, if this had a Duramax, and it is offered in a uh, four-cylinder Duramax, it gets, uh, you know, quite a bit better than it's 28. But anyway, we're trying to, this time, not run in the rain. We ran in the rain last time, forded the river in the rain. We all got very wet. Yeah, that was fun. Take a, <laughs> you don't know, like getting wet so. I just, like, my whole, like, I had jeans on, and it was, like, a whole, it felt like I was probably 20 pounds heavier than I am. Oh, yeah? Due to my clothes being soaked. Well, you and your dad just got back from a European vacation. Is that kind of like National Lampoon? They do a European vacation. It was close to this. <laughs> I mean, I've never Went to seen Greece, that, did all that stuff. So, did you, you didn't drive. Your dad had an international driver's license. You didn't have right. one, did you? No, you have to be 29. You have to be 29. Yeah. Yeah, was there a lot of cute boys in Greece? I mean, I, there was a lot of cute boys in Italy. Oh, yeah? I didn't see that many in Greece, but yeah. in Italy, there was some cute boys. But anyhow, this is a nice riding and very easy to control. We do have a weight distributing hitch. This one happens to be an Anderson on our low trail ATV trailer. So we've got a side-by-side -side and ATV on the trailer. We have that big Pioneer, not Pioneer, the big Rancher ATV in the truck bed itself. And that is so cool because I always use mid-sizes and I was glad to see it fit. But you know, you get a little mirror on the front of the ATV and it do the bottom fenders fine. And the back end of it is on the tailgate. But, um, I mean, strapping it in was a struggle. Yes, it wasn't because that light bar, I mean, it looks cool. It's kind of like what the Gators were, or the Avalanche had those. And, you know, on, on a midsize, there's just not enough room to work around. We had a hard time hooking the straps up. But, I mean, it'd be a cool looking light bar. It's not something I would buy, but it is uh, it's an accessory a lot of folks would have fun with. But this canyon is so awesome. And to me, it looks like I'm full size, it looks like a regular GMC, but I fit it so well. There's a lot of those little mid sizes that I don't fit well. The armrest is not in the right place, and the seats are too low. And this one is really comfortable for me. This is the size. I'm, I'm looking at getting some mid size next year, 
I had about five trucks on the list, and it's, it's getting shorter and shorter. But I'm 60 years old. I'm thinking I need something that's really good fuel mileage in case I have to go visit sick relatives. All my relatives are older than me, so I want to be prepared so I can go go visit and afford the gas. Now the gas has gone up so much, but midsize would be easier for me to park because you know I've you know, been driving dualies and big trucks and all my life, and it's always always a challenge to park them, whether it's the mall or the Walmart parking lot or wherever you go, a midsize would alleviate that problem. <coughs> but this, just that Ali didn't come equipped with a trailer brake. It's got tow haul mode and all that, but it doesn't have that, and this trailer is right on the line of whether you need trailer brakes. We did use weight distributing hitch, even though it's not required, you know, 5,000 pounds, but we are pretty good on tongue weight. Now, let me see the payload on this. We're right at payload, and I weighed this with all of us in it, so we've got a really accurate number, but the payload allowable is 1,528, and we're at 1,520, so we got eight pounds to spare. And this will actually tow a 7,000 pound trailer, and we're about 3,240, still over 3,000. But we're doing well, and the weight distributing hitch has leveled us out and taken away all the sway. So this is actually a very safe feeling truck which is very good to do when you're in the mountains. You go through all these curves, switchbacks, and grades up and down. We've got some construction up here ahead. But uh, yeah, this is Denali's. This is a sexy beast. 20 inch wheels. You like 20 inch wheels? This is like a rapper's truck. If I could do some rap music, man, this would be the wheels I want. And David, you're, what are you? Are you 5'7, five, 5'8? Five, How tall are you? 5'7. Mm, so you got enough yeah, room back there? It's not bad, yeah. I got plenty of room. Symphony's got, got some enough leg room too. It's not too bad. Yowzer. I probably got four or five inches in between my knees and the seat. Well, come join us for our adventure up the hill. See if we make it all the way to the top. We're going to be on what? A Red Elephant Run and what's the other one called? Bill Lake. Moore. Bill Moore Lake. Lake. Up above Lake. Empire. So we'll see if we can make it to the lake. See if we can get past the mud bog. And beat the rain. Get a few hours in before it rains. So come join us for the drive and ride. Whatever Kelsey does. Oh yeah, I'm red. Well, son, how much leg room do you have? Uh, there's about three or four inches there. Oh yeah, that's not bad at all. And then the front, and the front seat's probably a little bit farther forward. Is it enough headroom? Well, that's always important. No, that's, that's the back seat, so I know it'd be good enough for grandkids and actually adults that don't play basketball would be ideal. Cool. Okay. Cool. Cool. Well, here with this 2018 Canyon, we actually got a full-size ATV in the bed. This is a 420 Ranger Honda, and it's a big one. And I was amazed how well the room was. The front axles are a little narrower, and that little tiny fender in there, there's nothing to climbing through that. It all fit on here. Of course, the tailgate down, this is only a five-foot bed. But this makes it awesome. We've always had mid-size ATVs that we hauled in our mid-size trucks for these reviews. And now we can put a full-size one in there. And it wouldn't even fit better except for this light bar. And we got really close to that. And reaching the tie-downs around that light bar made it kind of difficult. But we're doing okay with the light bar in it. But so now we know we can put the big ones in here. Can't put the side-by-side. We're going to do that to a, an eight-foot bed. See how that works on a full-size truck. But yeah, this makes it, and we're, with, even with all three passengers and all the equipment we have, we still got eight pounds of payload left after you figure the payload of the tongue weight and the payload of the four wheeler in the back and us and cameras. So this works out. We're right on the limit.
Like yeah. he's already done fell. Yeah, it's not falling rocks. <laughs> it's, it's fallen. <laughs> like they've already fell. Well, there could be some fall. Yeah, we've only seen. I've only seen one rock slide in my life up here, and that was quite incredible. But this road's getting a little rough here. Yeah. You know, this I've got Toha mode on in this canyon, and this is an eight speed, and it's doing very well. You can hear, feel it wrap up, and it's holding the gears. It's doing what it's supposed to. That's impressive on a little truck. We're only pulling, you know, 3,200 pounds, so it's not like we're 7,000 pounds. But uh, these little canyons, uh, you know, this V6 and the diesel do really well uh, for you know, for what they do with their shift patterns. I think uh, GM did a really good thing when they came out with the eight-speed and they programmed it right. So I know they calibrated it so it actually does do some good as far as downhill, you know, braking, you know, engine braking. And that's what we're doing, but I'm running about 2,200 RPM, so it's it's keeping me backed up to that 55 on these curves. Tons of pickup truck questions, right? Right. Where do we go for the answers? We go to the Truck Nuts book. Because we're truck nuts. <laughs> and we wrote the book, Truck Nuts. We're nuts about truck. The ultimate guy to buy a truck, or yep. looking at a truck, or judging a truck. You know, whether it's diesel versus gas, new versus used, what your teenagers should learn about trucks. All that. You do all kinds of cool tests. Yeah, we do a lot of testing. We do the Ike Gauntlet, world's toughest towing test up the mountain and down the mountain. We do MPG testing on the highway, loaded with trailers. Yeah. We do off-road testing. A lot of that data is in this book as well, and it's a one-stop shop for truck information. That's true. We test trucks maximum capacity, up to biggest grades you can do on the interstate. Yep. So we really put them to the test. And, you know, you can get all the facts you can't find anywhere else. We do MPG tests which you can't find on any sticker anywhere. So, you know, all that stuff that you can't find is in the book. And you can find the book at trucknutsbook.com. There are links to Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and all the other bookstores as well. So read about your truck nuts. <laughs>